Hi, it's Doug Underdahl from Long Valley Equip, longvalleyequip.com. I'm here with a red camera. John Vallon of JBV Media has stepped up and loaned us his red so that we can uh, put this device on it, which is the, uh, the Nikon mount adapter that I made. Um, so let's go ahead and swap mounts. I know a lot of people have been uh, interested in this because the factory red hasn't made this yet. Um, this is a prototype that I made. Uh, it's bare aluminum at this point. Should work fine. Uh, I think red will have theirs available uh, instantly now that I've made this. So anyway, this is all about swapping them out. The first thing you want to do is get yourself a piece of foam um, to set your, your camera down on because there's a lot of uh, fragile stuff back here. So put a piece of foam here. Uh, get yourself some tools. You're going to take your PL dead eye out. That's uh, the red PL dead eye. I'll put it back in and take it back out again. Starts like this. We take it out. Then you're going to want a two millimeter wrench, uh, Allen wrench. But before you do that, I suggest you use this high tech tool, which is a child's balloon. We're going to put this in the camera to protect the filter that rests in front of the uh, sensor. So I'm going to put a piece of lens tissue over the sensor carefully. If I can get that to go in to protect it. This is probably enough. Um, you're going to be pulling eight uh, screws out and you really, really don't want to drop one on your sensor and break it. So a child's balloon goes inside, holds all that steady, and now you're ready to start taking things apart. The uh, PL mount has four ears on it. I suggest to all users that you remove these three and only use this one um, because then you're less likely to get this thing snagged on, the other, the other three snagged on something. Um, but you can leave all four on if you want. You need to rotate this ring around to gain access to all the screws. So I'm just going to start doing that. Um, take the screws out. Now these are a little loose. I left them loose the last time I took the mount off. Here they're starting to come out. Um, when you do this, I suggest for the first time they're pretty stiff. Put the short end in, push down quite hard, and turn. You don't want to strip the top of these screws because then they'll have to be drilled out. Use a screw extractor and you really don't want that. So I'm just going to go around and remove these eight screws. Okay, so I've got the last of the eight screws out. There's your PO mount. Put that in a plastic baggie, wrap it up. Uh, now there's actually a plate underneath that. Push your balloon in and pull this plate out. You'll notice there's a, uh, a hole in it here for your connector. There's an electronic connector that I assume will be used in future builds, um, probably for smart lenses, eye lenses, um, that has to be kind of pushed back down into the recess. The cables, or the, rather the wiring for that, runs in this little slot. I want to make sure there's nothing sticking up when you take your, your Nikon mount, whoever makes it, uh, and put it back on. I've cut a little recess here uh, with a tool just to make sure that that connector can sit up a little bit. And I'm going to put one right up on top of the other here. Push my balloon back down in so it's not in the way. Pull my balloon up and line up the holes. There we go. And then give it a little tug, press from side to side. Make sure that the mount isn't rocking, that it's flat. If it's not rocking, um, then you haven't caught a piece of wire or the connector underneath it. And now we'll put the screws in. So installation is just the reverse. You're going to use uh, screws supplied with whoever makes your Nikon adapter. It might be me, it might be red. They have to be shorter. I'm using pan head Phillips screws because that's what I had laying around my shop. Most likely the screws that will be supplied will be a, a flathead 
hex drive just exactly like the originals. But for now, we have a lovely shiny front end of this camera. I think it should be a black front end or a dark gray front end so that you don't have light kicking off the front of this camera onto your subject. Uh, and that'll happen. So you want to install these loosely and then you're just going to go around and snug up each screw in an X pattern. You're going to go across, across, across and just gently tighten them up. Since there are eight, you don't need to be hard or give these too much of a, of a set. Just a nice set like that. Okay, now you take your balloon out, boing, carefully remove your tissue. Oops, I got a little bit there. Get that out. There is your adapter.